gentlemen, you are more than welcome to this uh, episode one of season three of the Coffee to Level Show brought to you by Wigwam Mastermind Coaching. Delighted that you've chosen to join us and thank you for being here. And in particular, I'd like to welcome our very special guest this morning, Mr. James Finnegan, all the way from the kingdom and in Tralee. James, please pop in, say hi, show us your coffee mug. Good morning, all. Happy New Year. If we can still say that at this stage. And I think Eamon's part should have gone on a lot longer. Uh, I think Eamon would have liked that too, but hey, we've got a show to run. Come here, it's wonderful. Uh, it's lovely to have you all here, and uh, thank you indeed for joining us. This is really exceptional. Cathy Mera, you're more than welcome back from New Hampshire. Great to see you here, early, the early bird in New Hampshire. And I think we've Geneva in the room. So, yeah, we have Geneva in the room. And we've even got the pretend capital in the room. Yeah, I see Seamus there waving away, looking for attention, looking for attention. So let me just tell you about James Finnegan. As I said in uh, my preamble yesterday on uh, social media, everyone's favorite granddad. Uh, James Finnegan is his name. I asked, what's your business do? He says, jack of all trades, master of one or two. And I really like that. I really like that, like that because most will say master of none. So this man is backing himself. How long established radio really this? Going since 1959 and still trying to establish myself. Uh, how many employees? Three, he says, me, myself, and I. Um, he goes on to say that James uh, is a husband, father, and grandfather. He spent the first 30 years grow growing up in London, and I presume then the last 50 here, uh, working in the bank and living over the pub his parents ran in Hammersmith, a.k.a. the University of Life. Love that. He was uh, involved in choirs and soccer. He married Kathleen in 1989 and on a whim moved to Kerry. Uh, he worked for Tralee Golf Club, the Football Association of Ireland, UEFA, until a relatively minor accident had life-changing consequences. I want to pick at that one if you don't mind. And uh, he has now retired, in, indulging himself with writing. And by the way, we've all experienced his writing. It's beautiful. Performing, we've experienced that. It's beautiful too. And community activism. And uh, when you hear this, this is wonderful, right? Uh, something nobody knows about you, except for, except for Seamus O'Donovan. My distant cousin has just been sworn in as the 46th US president of the United States of America. And if that's not enough, ladies and gentlemen, if that's not enough, I have sung for three popes. There you go. Two, two last things, then we're going to open it to the floor, to, to your fan base. Uh, <laughs> we're, two, two things, right? Um, one is, what are you taking with you from COVID? That's a brilliant question. Without in any way degrading the experiences of those who are sick and those who have passed and those left behind. What I've learned from COVID is a couple of things. One is that anything is possible. All those things that could never be changed, that can't be amended, that can't be uh, developed, suddenly could be. And we had time. We had time to stop. You had an idea of what my life was like before. But now everybody had to slow down. And look at what I've got out of it. I've met this group. I've met Raymond and the Tangible Group. I've, I've visited places all around the world. I've gone to the White House. I've gone, I've gone to, the, to the, at, at, um, the South Antarctic. I've gone to Toastmaster meetings all around the world now. And I see I have some fellow Toastmasters in with me today. So that's, that's my confirmation, what I always believed before, that anything is possible. And to use that fancy word, you just have to pivot that right way. I love it. So that's what you're taking with you from COVID. You're not going to let go of the fact that anything is possible into the yeah. future. Beautiful. Thank you, James. And then the last question before we open it to your fan base is what one tip would you give anybody? Because we've all, I think, struggled at some point through COVID. All of us at some point have had low moments. What's your one tip for anybody who has hit that and may hit it again? Uh, I think family is all important. Friends is all important. Uh, keep yourself busy be it reading, be it writing. Um, I've developed, there's always a new project coming. There's always something different coming. 
and always say yes. That's what I. That's what I'd say. That's the big thing. Always say yes. Worry about the technicalities and how you're going to do it later, but always say yes.